Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. If you are anything like me, you are obsessed with Baby Yoda. And so today I'm going to teach you how to take a champagne cork and turn it into Baby Yoda. That's right, a champagne cork is going to become Baby Yoda. I'm going to show you how right now. For this project, you will need a champagne cork, green Uniposca paint pens, black and green pearl topped pins, and all wire cutters, tan felt, fabric scissors, everyday scissors, black, brown, white pony beads or wooden beads, hot glue gun, two push pins, and green bumpy pipe cleaners. So the first thing that needs to be done is I need to paint my champagne cork. So to make this easier, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two push pins on either side just like that so that I can hold it while I paint it. And I'm going to be making mine, you can do it dark green or a light green. I'm going to be doing light green here. And I can just hold it like that and just give it nice good coating of green paint. And when you get to the top, all you have to do is pop that little guy off, hold it from the bottom there and paint the top so that you end up with a nice little champagne cork like that. The next step is to make his little coat. And so I'm just going to be using a little strip of felt and I'm just going to glue it around. I'm going to cut it so that it overlaps slightly but not too much. So first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue right here. And I want to give him that little cowl that he has. And so I'm not going to glue it up at the top where his head is. I'm just going to glue it to the base of that champagne where it starts to flange out a little bit. And then I'm going to wrap it around. And I don't have to really put any glue on the back end but I am going to put more on this side here. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of an angle. It's just a tiny bit of glue here. Angle this down and then cut off that little bit of extra and fold the collar down. Now for his little arms, I'm just going to be using these pearl topped pins and I just stick it right on through and then just bend it. And now you get to choose what you want to use, whatever you have on hand for his little bone broth cup. If you've got little square beads, you can use those. You can use little rounded beads, but I think that the pony bead looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to use this little black pony bead. And I'm just going to put a little glue on each hand and glue it into place. For his eyes, I don't want to have these big long posts that come out of the back of the pearl bead. I'm going to actually cut them so that they're easier to insert and they don't go as far back into the cork and have the, you know, they could come out the back. So I don't want to have that. So what I'm going to do is just take, I have some wire cutters here. I'm just going to trim about three quarters of an inch to an inch of wire here. And then I just pop these little eyes in. They'll still go in nice and easy. There we go. Now he's getting there. Now what he needs are his ears. And that's what we're going to use the awl for. So I'm just going to make a little hole with my awl. Just give it a little push in there and make a nice little hole. And for his ears, what I'm going to be using are these bumpy pipe cleaners, which I love. And this I'm going to use my everyday scissors to cut. And the reason I don't use my fabric scissors on here is because fabric scissors are, you know, cutting fabric and cutting other things. Like if you have a pair of fabric scissors and then you cut other stuff with it, it dulls those fabric scissors. 
So I try not to use fabric scissors for cutting things like this for my everyday. I just use everyday scissors. There he is, our little friend, Baby Yoda. And there you have it. Not one, but two Baby Yodas, dueling Baby Yodas. Now, check back for my next episode because I'm going to be teaching you how to make Baby Yodas tiny little bassinet out of a wiffle ball. Check us out for more fun stuff with Baby Yoda and beyond, sophie-world.com.